Welcome to chapter 10. Yes, it's already the 10th episode um, of season number two and we're diving back into Chandler and uh, I'm going to go into a dungeon. That's what I'm going to do. I mean, I collected a lot of dungeon clues in uh, the previous episode. So today I'm going to cash in on those. Let's load the Timmy Goes Green and uh, let's kind of check it out. What kind of dungeons we can go in. Yeah, I... Uh, I've been in here before, but I think we got to go back to the ruins of Suchan. And I mean, I just have to get that berserk. That berserk, that is the dream. Talking about that, before we go into uh, this episode, let's first uh, listen to a message from our fantastic sponsor that actually sells a lot of those berserks. And I'm talking, of course, about 3 for 1 trading. Here we go. 3 for 1 Trading is one of Europe's leading Magic the Gathering retailers. Their online shop has a fantastic selection of high-end Magic cards, especially for vintage, legacy and, yes, yes, old-school Magic players. They now exclusively offer my community free, fully insured and fast worldwide shipping on all their high-end singles, full sets and out-of-print sealed products. They upload new cards every Wednesday and have weekly sale offers and reductions waiting just for you. Use my code TIMMY to get free worldwide shipping on your first order over $500 or euros. Have fun ordering those cards and thank you 341 Trading for sponsoring this video. Okay, we are back and ready to kick this off. Okay, so I'm gonna go to the Shellcliff Forge, right? Because it's east of Shellcliff Forge. Let's have a look. No music. It's a, it's a little quiet, isn't it? Maybe the music will start in a moment or so. Um, Shellcliff Forge. Let's see, Shilcliff Tower, Bloodstain Forge. Man, it's hard to see this. Shilcliff Mill. Okay, here's Shilcliff Forge. Okay, so I'm just gonna, I'm here now, so I'm just gonna go all the way to the east, I guess. On to Shilcliff Forge. Let's first see if we can, oh, okay, okay, the sound's back. <laughs> That's, whoa, that was heavy. Um. Let's first see if we can uh, maybe get some good cards. If you combine this battering ram with lure you already have, destroy your op all your opponent's walls by attacking with battering ram. That, that is true. That is a cool way to get rid of walls. Um, does it happen in real life? Not really. I think I already have a battering ram, by the way. So I'm, I'm good. I'm good. Um, we can begin a quest. I'll reward you with blue cards. I don't need any blue cards. So I guess we're good to go, right? Insufficient funds. Ooh, I want to buy that. Um, let's see if I can sell something. Let's just get the music under control. Okay, nothing, nothing. A ghost pirate ship for 120. You know what? I'm going to sell it. I got to sell it sooner or later. Let's sell it. Ah, 85. I just, I cannot sell it for 85. I can't do it. What was the price again of that book? Was it seven fifty? Leave the village. Yeah, pay the gold. So I got a new world magic, which is pretty cool. And we have to go east. Look at me do this. Look at me dodge all these opponents. There's a nice little dungeon, by the way. Let's see what's in that dungeon. That's this one, the Soul Chant Monastery. Hmm, Ali from Cairo is cool, but. Contains small blue creatures, one deck for all. The duels, life loss carried over, power struggle in effect. Okay, I'm not gonna do the dungeon now. I, I cannot take a power struggle at the moment. I had a bit of a power struggle myself yesterday, so I need to, you know, I need to take it easy today. Uh, let's check out, what can I buy? Venom, Giant Grove, I think I've got four, right? Mishra's Factory is kind of good. I also like this one. Maybe I'm gonna make a poison deck. How many giant growths do I have? Let's have a look. Um, well, I'm still playing with my green deck. That's nice. Let's have a look. Giant growths. How many? Yeah, I've got four already. Okay. Begin a quest. Hero Roger for white amulet. South. I love white amulets. Unicorns. Fire. Okay, so I'm gonna accept the quest. Let's take a look. Here's Unicorn Spire. Okay, so it's a bit off, but you know, I think white amulets are really good because when you're under attack, when a village is under attack, I can use a sword here and I can transport immediately to that place. So it's pretty important. Ooh, oh no. 
Couldn't dodge it. Uh, let's change anti card. Mistress Factory, sure. Our first battle is against the Knights. The White Knights. I'd love to play first. Thank you. Ooh, that hand. Only one land. Forest. Force of Nature. So one forest and a forest. That's not great, but Lure is not great at the moment. War Mammoth could be useful later on. The Asp is great, so I've got to turn one play. I mean, I can't take a mulligan anyway, so I have to keep it. At least I got to turn one play. So that's nice. And I've got the Giant Grove I can then cast on the, on the Asp. Which is good, for example, when he plays like a Savannah Lion, but he doesn't, so... Okay, another forest, that's promising. I'm just gonna attack, I'm not gonna use the lure, of course, wanna keep that. Hopefully I can draw into another forest and a cast at Yoshin Soldier next turn. That would be uh, the dream. Another plains, yes, yes. <laughs> oh man, sorts of plowshares. It's my only creature, come on, tranquility. Oh man, nothing I can do. That's new art, by the way, this one. I don't know this art. Ooh, Lunar Elves, okay, that's kind of a mana. If it can stay alive long enough, I can start casting something next turn, Yoshin, perhaps. That's what I'm hoping for. <laughs> Battering Ram, okay. Hey, another mana, so now I can go War Mammoth. Of course I'm gonna go War Mammoth, past turn. I love this, I love War Mammoth Giant Grove, right? I talked about that before. Oh, castle, look at him go. I can build like a mini, um, a mini force. Let's attack. Okay, so this is pretty nice mana-wise, right? Because I can go Lanawar and then go Yoshin. I also have that lure, so at the right time I could actually consider playing Tranquility, get rid of the castle, maybe putting a lure on the War Mammoth with that giant uh, Grove backup. I mean, it's not necessary now, but I am just gonna wait. Oh, I can cast Force of Nature. That would be sweet. Let me first attack. He's probably gonna block the ocean. Oh, he's not, okay. Okay. Now I'm gonna cast a force. I think the force, I mean, it's only six to cast for an eight, eight with trample. That is just really, really good in old school. The thing is you need the four green and of course you got the upkeep cost. And another problem is Maze of If. You know, that's an issue, but I mean, you just need some land destruction in your deck. Force, you don't see it that often anymore at old school tournaments, which is a shame. I think it has potential. Oh, okay, yeah, pay the upkeep cost. One, two, three, four. That's it. Um, done. Let's attack. Oh, he's really low, he's already on nine. Oh, maybe he should have attacked with everything because I think he has to attack, uh, has to block the, the force. So he should have attacked with the elves here. And then I could have won it here on the spot, actually. Um, I could also go double Giant Grove. I think that works. Let's put one on here. And one on here. There we go. Um, I do want that Dancing Scimitar. I'm going to take it because I want that Dancing Scimitar. Okay, speak to the wise man. To assist you, I shall tell you the secrets, I guess, of this dungeon. Cave of the Ice Worm. Okay, contains small green creatures. No green cards allowed. Okay. Let's see what cards he sells. A hurricane could be good. I hardly have any flyers anyway. What does Ebony Horse do again? Untap an attacking creature you control. That creature neither deals nor receives damage this turn. Eh, eh. Love the art though, but I'm not that excited about what it does. Um, Unicorn Spire, right? So I just gotta go east still. Hmm. 
Soul net. Speak to the wise man. Ooh, even more secrets. They keep giving me dungeon clues. I like it. Okay. Oh, that's the place I gotta go, right? Yeah, Unicorn Spire. Hey, reward it with a white amulet. Buy cards and hints. If you combine a bettering ram of lure, I know you've told me that already. Um, okay, so now we want to go to the forge. Travel east. Ring of the Guardian. The wizard now needs five mana to tap. Okay, travel to Hornwool Mill. It's kind of hard to read that black letter type. Um, black color. Anyway, gotta go to the, what, the mill? East to the mill. I don't really see it. Accept tribute for your mercy. Okay. That's a good sign. Ah, three green jewels. Sure. Um, let's see, Horn Wool Mill, travel east. Okay, let's check it out, where is that then? I'm now here, east is this way. Horn Wool Glade. You know what? Maybe we'll run into it. Horn Wool Mill, let's try to remember that. Horn Wool Mill, you say, yes. Accept tribute, okay. Um, one black jewel, sure. Binding of planes. Oh, there's the ice cave, by the way. The thing is, I really have my mind set up on that, um, on that berserk. Buy cards. Ooh, another Thomas' wand. Yes, please. Begin a quest. Bring this message west to my brother. Oh, it's tempting because I want to have a mana link, but I'm not going to do it now. I'm going to do it later. I really want to focus on getting into the dungeon. I'm so close. Shilcliff Forge. Okay. Flying carpet. Mm, is that good? Flying carpet? I like this art. But I'm not gonna, going to. I'll begin a quest. I'll reward you with one white amulet. Oh, it's a white amulet. You know, I shouldn't look at these missions anymore. I should just have a one-track mind, which is going to the dungeon. Just leave the village. I don't want to battle her. Ah, oh, promise if you battle these uh, people that are aligned with like a wizard, then you're not going to get any anti if you win. And I got a, I've got the cockatrice. And she's on 27. Oh, that's bad. That is bad. Okay, at least I got enough lands. Forest, Yoshin, Asp, Forest, Giant Grove, Forest, Lanower. This is actually quite a quick hand. I like it. Um, I'm going to go... No, should I go Lanower? Oh, this is tough. I think I'm going to go Asp because I want to put pressure on. Uh, and I'm going to attack next turn. With a giant growth, hopefully she'll block on the Enchantress. I can kill the Enchantress. Or, of course, she can just attack with the Enchantress. That is unexpected. That is an interesting move. Okay, Birds of Paradise. I don't think she will block with that, but you never know. Okay. Let's go forest, let's go Lanower Elves. So another line could have been Lanower Elves and turn two Yoshin Soldier, which is good as well, but I just wanna, exactly, Asp is now doing work. I want the Asp to do work. Another attack here, okay. Um, I'm gonna block, cause I've got a giant growth, if she does anything. Oh, she's gonna pump my, okay, this makes sense, how? I think the AI is a little bit confused because they got the Enchantress or something. Okay, let's go Forest. I got lots of mana now. Um, let's first attack. See what she does. And in we go. More damage. Taking some damage. I mean, I really now want to play with Asp. I really like the card. I think it's really cool. 
Mmm, there's a war mammoth. Let's see. I'm just gonna attack with the asp. Let's see if he wants to block. Yeah! Do it! And now I still have enough mana to cast my own war mammoth. Passes the turn. <laughs> um, let's go. War Mammoth, Asp, and the Lanawar. Why not? He only has birds to block. There we go. Uh, forest. Let's go Yoshin. I mean, the thing is, I mean, she's got a lot of life, you know, but... I've got a lot of attackers now. She's not doing anything, so... I'm feeling good. Let's just attack with everything. There we go. She's on 12. Passes a turn. Disenchant, disenchant. Oh, uh, let's go factory. Let's attack again. We just keep attacking. Look at that. She's dropping to seven. I've got the growth, so maybe I can finish it next turn. I can animate the factory. Here we go. Okay, so let's change to assembly worker. Let's attack with the team. Alpha strike. Here we go, people. Mm, let's put it, put it on the asp. There we go. Defeat it. Um, change the anti card and let's duel. Ooh, we've got a forest, an asp, whirling dervish, giant growth, Lana Royale's giant spider war mammoth. You know, this time I'm going to go for Lanawar first because I don't have a lot of mana and I really want to play that uh, Whirling Dervish next turn. If I if I find a forest, I can go Asp and Dervish. I can have a double spell, which is pretty sweet. There we go. So here we see forest, so I can go Asp. And I can go Whirling Dervish. And hopefully next turn, you know, I have the Giant Grove as well to back up my creatures. Untamed Wild, yeah, this is perfect. She's not playing anything out. Ooh, I can also, look at all the stuff I can cast. Let's first just attack. Oh, the Dervish is gonna grow, I love this. I mean, this green deck is really doing what it's supposed to do. Just early pressure, lots of creatures. The Giant Groves are just phenomenal. I like it. And then that one force as a finisher, it's really cool. There's Cockatrice, that's a little bit annoying, but it's not the end of the world. I think I'm gonna attack with the, you know what? I'm just gonna attack with the team, I don't care. Let's attack with everything, because I'm sure that the, the worm's gonna block something. Okay, that's actually pretty nice. Um, so now I wanna play Giant Grove on the War Mammoth, and we trade, and I deal two damage. It's not too bad. Hey, the Asp takes a life. Asp business. And of course my Dervish got another counter, so it's now a 3-3. Three, three. Ooh, crow worm! I still don't have a crow worm. Still need to get a crow worm. Oh, this is painful to see this crow worm. Um, and actually, I don't really have anything against it. Like my whirling dervish is too small. I can cast giant badger as a blocker because it becomes a four-four when it blocks. I gotta pass. This is the first time that I cannot. Um, hey, it takes another life from the asp. This is the first time I didn't attack this entire game. 
But if he attacks, I'm going to block with the Giant Badger. But I don't think he's gonna. Or if he attacks, he probably has a follow-up in second main. Oh, a thicket. Oh, that's really good. A thicket is really good. Tranquility is not going to help me here. Giant Spider. Yeah, and this is the thing with all those small creatures. It's great at the start of the game because you go so fast, but now I'm a little bit in trouble. And the dragon, the, the forest dragon is still on eight, so, or worm. Is the, is the forest worm? Okay, another crawl worm. So flip over to the face. The forest dragon, that's it, yeah. Uh, okay, this is good, because now I can cast Cockatrice. This is important. Cockatrice is important for two reasons. It can fly over the rest, and it's probably just going to hold back these creatures. Um, it's going to pass. If I was the forest dragon, I would seriously consider attacking at least with one crawl worm. Just to see what I do. Wow, another thicket. Hmm, he really has a lot of creatures that I actually want. Luckily for me, they cannot fly, so I can put him here on six. Um, yeah, I can go giant spider, and then I can tap my Lonero for the asp. And pass the turn. That is pretty cool. I could put him on four next turn. He's got... As unfortunate, he now plays another blocker because I was considering maybe doing an alpha strike, but that's not good anymore. Uh, he's going to attack with the cockatrice. I mean, he's got five creatures on the ground. I've got seven, no, six creatures. No, seven creatures on the ground. So I could consider attacking with those next turn. Because I think I then win. Oh, there we go. Stream of life. Okay, so that plans out of the window. That is annoying, but at least I keep attacking him here with this one cockatrice. Play a forest, pass a turn. Mm hmm. Um, forest, let's attack with the cockatrice. Let's play Sylvan. Let's pass as a turn. Okay, so five life here for the forest dragon. Ooh, untamed wilds. Oh, I'm forgetting to use uh, the Sylvan again. That happens so often. Okay, so now he's on three. I think next turn if I just attack with everything, because I've got nine creatures, he cannot block the flyer, and he's got five blockers, and the rest will go through, so. If he doesn't play like a stream of life, I should be good next turn. Oh, Desert Twister. Okay, goes for Giant Badger. Oh, Lure. Okay, this is funny. Uh-oh. This is a little bit tricky. Okay, let's go. Let's click on the Sylvan. Uh, put back the factory. Put back the factory. Yeah, I think I want to draw the Asp. Um, I think I should just attack with everything here. Yeah, he's really low. I should be fine. Hey, there we go. Winning the game. Wow, Tracker? That's a cool card. Didn't know Tracker was in this game. Yes, I want to have Tracker. Absolutely. Tracker's super cool. Uh, buy cards. Another... I already have four Asps, right? Let's have a look. Got three, but maybe I've got three because you cannot play four yet. 
Let's have a look. Um, ooh, I don't have, okay, so I can buy another Asp. Let's buy this one. Let's buy the Asp and then I'm broke. Wow, I am broke. I gotta sell something. What can I sell? Holy day, absolutely. Oubliette, absolutely. Okay, so I got some money. Let's buy some food. I want to go to Shale Cliff Forge. Ruins of Suchan. East of Shale Cliff Forge, okay. Accept tribute for your mercy, okay. A spell from my deck, sure. Desert twisters, birds, timber wolves. Uh, ooh, he's got a force of nature. Sure, let's go for the force of nature. Funny, I hear sounds, but I don't actually see anything. Oh man, the blue wizard is attacking something. Uh, all the way over there, but I'm so close to the dungeon. Trade green amulets for any shamans. I can also buy cards here. A lot of green cards. Uh, I'm going to leave the village. Um, I'm going to pay 80 gold. I wonder where... Where's the dungeon? I should be close, right? Let's have another look. Um, east of the forge. Okay, so east of the forge. So I need to go here. East is straight ahead. East of the forge. Oh, I got a duel the enchantress. I don't want to. Okay, we'll duel. Ah, this game can be so annoying. I just want to get into a dungeon. Um, okay, I've got Force Factory. So I can Force Lanower. That's good. Ah, this is annoying because I want to go into the dungeon and then I want to save that city, right? Which is under siege. Basically, want to do two things at once. Um, let's go Forest. Let's go Lanower. Let's pass. Mm, oh yeah, I should have gone factory, actually. Actually, I should have gone factory. Uh, let's go Sylvan Pass. Hmm. Oh, Cockatrice, that's a problem. That is a problem. Let's see, what do I have? Lanawer. Actually, maybe the Lanawer would have been good to draw, actually. Um, I'm gonna go for Giant Spider. Next turn, I can do Giant Spider, Giant Grove to kill the Cockatrice if she attacks with it. Mm, aspect of Wolf. Okay, at least not on the, uh, on the Cockatrice. That's something, right? That is something. Um, who's gonna go Lanora? You know what? I'm also gonna know because I want to play Giant Growth on the Spider. Or should I just? You know what? I'm gonna animate and I'm gonna attack and then play Giant Growth on the Factory to kill the Elf. Let's do it. There we go. Let's play it. Exactly. Kill the elf. Then he's got a mana less as well. And then elf's only going to grow, right? With every forest, it's going to grow. So it's better to kill it now. I'll just take two more damage. Yeah, just take two more. Go to 15. Mm-hmm. I need to take out that Sylvan, by the way, before I go into the dungeon. 
Um, I could go thick. Yeah, I should go thick it because I don't have to tap out for that. So go thick it. Fast turn. Mm -hmm. Okay, there's the attack. Done. Choose blockers. I'm going to block. Fast effects. Giant growth. There we go. I mean, it is a two for one, so it's not bad for my opponent, but I just have to get rid of that thing, uh, the copy first. Uh, oh, I keep forgetting the Sylvan, by the way. This is, uh, Sylvan is just for me and my system, it's not ideal when I'm on Chandelar. Uh, let's go and attack with, uh, with the creatures here. Maybe just attack with the team, why not? Why not? Okay. Take four. Pass turn. So next turn, I could play the spider, attack with the asp and the thicket. Ooh, aspect of wolf. That is not great. Oh, wow, the living, the living lands. That is cool. I'm just going to take the damage here. Oh, this is going to be funny. Um, wait a minute. She's on eight. Can I already win it here? Uh, I can go factory. She has no untapped lands. I can attack for six. So I don't think I can win. Wait a minute. Two, three, four, five, six. And this is eight. So I can actually win. Okay, let's go change to assembly worker. Exactly. And then I'm going to attack. I think I can win it, right? Four, six, seven. I also need that one. Let's open it up again and attack. This should work. Hey, minus one. Take the cards, please. Let's take that um, Sylvan out. Uh, what are we going to put in? Hmm, fog could be nice. Um, second force. Or, of course, the sandstorm, because I'm playing against like small creatures. Sandstorm is not in, right? No. Let's put sandstorm in. Um, okay. I'm now here. It was east of Shilcliff Forge, right? East of Shilcliff Forge, and near a city that's being taken by the White Wizard. So, is it then this? Maybe. Let's leave the. Let's go there. Oh, again, I got a duel of sorcerer. Oh, man, I just. Oh, dudes. Duel of sorcerer. I'm a little worried because I'm, I'm losing time and I think I have to, after this duel, probably have to go and save that city which is under siege, which will transport me all the way to the other side of Chandelar. Oh, okay, Yoshin Soldier. Ooh, two factories, no green mana in hand. Look at that. I do have the Asps, but... Oh, if I just had one force, this would be a really good hand. This could be a tough match for me. This could be tough. Bloom Brigade. Okay, Forest, I could go for Asp here. I guess I have. Well, I don't have to, but I think it's the right thing to do. I could, next turn, could go Asp, Animate, Factory, Attack. Oh, there's, there we go. Lightning Bolt. Um, let's go factory. I'm just gonna go asp. I'm gonna wait, 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 wait. I gotta animate this one. The other one still has summoning sickness. And I'm gonna attack. So now he's on ten. 
Next turn could go Yoshi and attack with Asp. Ah, uh, Sisters of the Flame. Too bad. Too bad. But the good news is, um, no, then he doesn't have mana to end play Yoshi and animate. Okay, I'm just gonna play Yoshi. Pass the turn. Sure, man, fly over me, it's fine. Drop to 17. I'm a little bummed, to be honest, because I was hoping to be in the dungeon by now, but... Ah, the dungeon plan, it's just not meant to be. Ah, uh, ooh, could go lure on a creature, but it's not really good. Hmm. I think I'm just gonna animate a factory and attack with it. Why not? Let's attack. Okay, it doesn't block, so I'm gonna pump it. And pass. Again, flying over me. I do like playing goblins. I got a pretty cool goblin deck. If I say so myself. Um, of course, I gotta play Thicket. Oh, I can do Thicket Lure next turn. Oh, that's gonna be epic. Ha <laughs> ha! Nice, something to look forward to. A little bit low on energy today, but this helps. Lure on Thicket. Mana Barbs, uh-oh, uh-oh. Don't like this. Lure, okay, so one. What? Why am I dealing damage? Ah, it's a mana barbs. It's not a mana flare. Oh, now I get it. Stupid. Of course, mana barbs together with Sisters of the Flame. That's that's a that's pretty cool combo actually. Oh, man, I love the AI. It's so uh, it's so smart. Okay, I'm gonna attack. It's got to block the thicket. Hey, here we go. Killing three creatures with the thicket. That's awesome. Oh, that is awesome. Um, there we go. Um, yeah, let's pass turn. And now the Asp counter is really good in combination with Mana Barbs, by the way. Another combo. Ho oh, ho! I need to write these down. This is so fun. That's why I love Chandelar, right? Even after playing for so long, it still teaches me new things. Not necessarily things that you can do something with, you know, because it's all pretty tier three plants, but, you know, still it's fun. Uh, okay. I think I'm just gonna animate both of the creatures and I can win. Change to assembly worker, sure, give me a damage. Change to assembly worker, give me a damage. Um, and then we're gonna attack. This should be enough, we'll see. There we go. Um, I'll take the cards, I'll take the cards. I get a duplicate card, oh nice. Um, a duplicate card. Ooh, Trike is really good. Trike is really, ooh, Candelabra of Tannis, really? That's a cool card too. Hmm. This is tough, he's got a lot of really nice cards. Um, Shivan Dragon also in there. Poo, this is difficult. The thing is, I like Candelabra of Tannis. It's more rare, I think, than Triskelion, but Triskelion is so good. But you know what? I'm gonna go for this, because this is really a card you wanna brew around, which is fun. Um, oh, no, 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 don't attack me. Dang it. Change anti-card. Oof, I shouldn't have done that. I don't wanna lose a thicket. You know what I'm gonna do after this duel, and I mean, I don't like to say it, but I am gonna go to uh, to the shapeshifter and defend the town. I mean, it's really important if they if they get too many um, too many villages, you lose the game. So I need to keep that in check. Anyway, playing an Aspir turn one, uh, two giant groves of forest and two factories here in my opener. It's pretty decent. I'm gonna go for factory. Uh, I'm gonna swing in with the asp. Ok, 
Okay, let's go in other factory. I can animate one of the factories, pump it as well. I could swing for four. I have to say, I like how explosive my deck is. Like, it's really quick. Let's pump it up. Like, also, a lot of my green creatures have, like, single green in their casting cost, so that makes the factories really a lot better because they don't really have that big of an impact on my mana base. There's a mountain. Ooh, Wall of Air. Ah, I played Wall of Air at the tournament not too long ago. If you know, you know, it was a lot of fun. Wall of Air with Diamond Valley. Really cool. Um, You know what? I'm think about... I could just attack with one factory because I want to have the Giant Grove option open. Yeah, I think I'm just going to attack with one factory. Let's go. Gonna play Giant Grove. And then, uh, yeah, I don't have enough mana. I cannot really cast anything else. That's too bad. Would have been nice to be able to cast Giant Badger, but wasn't possible. Wow, even more mana, so or more colors. Ooh, that's another good one. Phantasmal Forces. I'm just gonna do the same thing again, just gonna make one. You know what? It's only one in the uh, in the toughness, so I think I'm just gonna attack with the Asp here as well. Let's just go for it. Oh, he's not going to block at all. Okay. Now he's got to pay, and he's got to pay for the ass. Ooh, he's going to take a life. Drop to eight. Okay, now he's going to pay for it. Oh, pain though with the Phantasmal Forces. I like the Forces. So cool. If they wouldn't have had the upkeep cost, it would have see it would see a lot of play for sure. Like four power for four through the air. That's a big thing in old school. Uh, ooh, I got, ooh, this sandstorm is gonna be so good. Oh, man. Um, let's go. Change to assembly worker. Change to assembly worker. Actually, not gonna attack with the asp. Because I don't want to trade. Because I think I can use the sandstorm next turn. Pass. Oh, this is going to feel so good. Go, Sandstorm. Do it. Oh, ho, ho, two for one with the Sandstorm. I love it. That's an, I sometimes play with Living Plane. Sandstorm Living Plane is pretty cool. Um, but not often. Okay, there we see Land Tax. There we see Wall of Dust. That's annoying. Wall of Dust does something, right? Uh, if Wall of Dust blocks any creature, that creature cannot attack during its controller's next turn. Okay. Um, you know what? I think I can win it here. Because he's on four. So I can just attack with my workers. Attack with the ass, play to growth, win the game. Put it on the Asp. Here we go. Hey, winning it. Um, Take the dungeon clue. South of Shellcliff Keep. Our Donald's Tomb. Pretty sweet demonic, but I'm not going to play with Black Wheel Fortune. Also really sweet. Okay. Um, I have to transport. I have to do it. I have to protect the village. Dual the shapeshifter. I mean, listen, I wanted to go into the dungeon. I really did, but this is more important. Here we got the flip. She's won it. She's on 22. Start the duel. Shapeshifter, select power, toughness. If I do 7-0, is it going to die? It is. Okay. <laughs> 
I honestly didn't know that th I didn't know this bug existed. I just assumed that you couldn't choose 7 0. So she starts with a shapeshifter, but you can just make it 7 0 so it dies. Okay, that um, interesting glitch. So I can go forest, Lana Elves. It, even though I wasn't meant to do this, it kind of feels like cheating, you know what I mean? Like, isn't she supposed to start with a shapeshifter? Maybe I should have just done one six. Can do I can do that next turn. Uh, next turn, I mean next time. Anyway, Lanawer here on board. Now he plays or she plays a mana vault. Because who am I playing again? Uh, uh, yeah, the shapeshifter. So it, it, actually, the shapeshifter is a they. So they are doing this. Uh, no factory. Should have played factory here. Stupid. So then I could have attacked with factory next turn. Of course, I'm probably going to play a giant spider next turn, but. I've got a pretty nice build up, by the way. I can go next turn factory, play spider, then forest, go thicket. It's pretty good. Attack in between. Ooh, another mana vault. No land drop, though. Another mana vault. I've tried mana vault a few times in old school to play with it, but I find it quite hard. It tends to really hurt. There we go. Earth says Avenger. That's a good one. Mm, let's go for Giant Spider. Because now the problem for the Shapeshifter is that they're going to take two damage from the Mana Volts. There we go. I mean, only one land. You need four to untap. Okay, there's the second at least. Uh, I'm not going to block. going to take four. Now remember, the Earth's Adventure for zero. You can give it... Um, it gets minus one, minus one, but then you can give it an ability like banding, flying, first strike, trample. So you can give it first strike. For example, um, let's go forest in this case. I mean, I could go cockatrice. Attack with the spider. I think that's what I'm going to do. First attack with the spider. Second main play the cockatrice. Go play the cockatrice. It is this game, you know, it just reminds me that it's so hard to actually do something because you just you're constantly under attack. I mean I'm now we're now playing for what 45 minutes and I mean <laughs> I haven't really done anything. Well, I've, I've done a lot of battles, but I wanted to really go into that dungeon. Uh, let's see, what can I do? I could attack with the giant spider and put a giant growth on it. You know what, that's what I'm gonna, I'm just gonna attack with both. See what's gonna happen. There we go. So now I go giant growth. The AI is so predictable. Um, gonna go with thicket. One, two, three, four, and five. Gonna cast the thicket. I mean, the amount of damage that they've taken from those mana vaults, that's pretty serious. I mean, the shapeshifter is, is going down. And of course, Mana Vault's really good when you have a place to sack it to, like with Atok, with Sage of Latinam. It's also good with uh, Yakmov's Demon, which is a super cool card. I have a play set of Yakmov's Demons. I really need to play with them. There's an Unsummon. Take my turn. Um... Oh, I should have animated the factory. Again, you know, playing too quickly. So he's on six, gonna go for Cockatrice. Pass is a turn. Wow, take two more damage. You're on four. It does have another factory as a blocker, but it's not gonna be enough. Uh, ooh, it's tempting now to play force, but I think I'm just gonna change to assembly worker. Change to assembly worker. And I'm just gonna attack with the team. 
Why not? I mean, they can only make one blocker, so it should be good. Oh, Urkos Recall! Oh, I love it! Oh, <laughs> that's cool. Not enough, but that was a really cool move. Okay, I'm gonna take the Dungeon Clue. Altar of the Cyclops, Library of Alexandria. Wow, that's a good one. Ooh, I'm getting a shapeshifter. Oh, there's the altar. Okay. You know what we're gonna do? I'm gonna I'm gonna save the game here. I'm a little bit low on energy. Um, I'm sorry. I know I promised to go into the dungeon, but it happens. Um, but you know what? I'm gonna go into the altar of the Cyclops. I think next uh, next week. Let's see where is it? Altar of the Cyclops. No artifacts allowed. Life loss carried over. Or Oriflame permanently in effect. Contains small red creatures. Okay, so it's kind of the same as the other dungeon. So my green deck will do quite well there, I think. So I'm just gonna save it for now. Uh, thank you very much for watching another episode. Thank you so much. Uh, if you want to, please like, share, and write a comment. All these things are free and really help the channel move forward. Like YouTube loves that stuff. Uh, talking about supporting the channel, you can also become a patron of the show. Check out patreon.com slash timmytalks to find out how you can support me as a content creator and I can continue playing Chandelar for you guys, which I love to do. So even if you don't become a patron, I'm still gonna play it, but hey, if you like me, continue making uh, season three after season two, uh, please consider becoming a patron of the show. Talking about that, let's go to the end scroll and take a look at all the fantastic, amazing patrons of Timmy Talks. Here we go. What shall we do with the drunken sailor? What shall we do with the drunken sailor? What shall we do with the drunken sailor?